I got the Hasbro Marvel Legends Retro Vision. Let's crack him open. <music> Greetings, Toy Heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastered Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, Everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we are going to be doing a, an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends Retro Vision. I uh, picked him up off of Amazon. I think it was Amazon. I get, so I get stuff from Amazon, eBay, Mercari. Um, sometimes wish, but, uh, I try to avoid that as much as possible. Um, anyway, let's take a look at him. Um, as you can see up here, we've got the Marvel logo, the West Coast Avengers, um, Vision down here in the bottom, uh, and you got your Hasbro logo, and there is Vision and all his visioniness. I did get the white Vision. I wanted to get the... Uh, yellow and green and red vision, but my God, is it expensive? Because there's there's two variants of this figure. There's the the classic green and yellow uh, with a little bit of red, and then there's the white. Um, good friend of the channel because um, I've been putting trying to put together an Avengers uh, a team on my on my Marvel shelf, and good friend of the channel uh, James Wilkie told me he's my Marvel go-to guy because uh, i know dc better than i know marvel and uh he's just like uh, you might as well just get the white vision um because you know he in inevitably became this um and so this is the one i got um uh, so on the back um flip this over um get in here a little closer uh on the back uh, we've got, if I can get this to stand up, and I always want to go to an angle. Uh, got the West Coast Avengers, and then a nice little uh, backstory about Vision in multi-language. Uh, you got your jibbery-jabber legal jargon, Hasbro Marvel logos there. Uh, children, children that aren't born yet up to the ages of three. That's for you, Jubilee. That's, uh, that's, that's James's daughter. Uh, she doesn't like this little joke. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, children that aren't born yet up to the ages of three shouldn't play with this. So for the love of God, don't let your children that aren't born yet play with this. Uh, houses of Klingon and Barcode. So there we go. Um, let's grab Trusty. Pew! And we will get into this. Let's see if I can do... Let's see how well... Oh, that one's like butter. That just went right through that. Um, Trusty's not sharp either, so that's, that's kind of a miracle. Um, oh, okay, we got this, this side too. Now, I always end up with that corner. Let's get that corner, and we are good to go. Put Trusty away. Uh, have more figures on the way, and I have, uh, for those who, uh, have, for those who, uh, get on our discord uh, you've probably seen the uh ghostbuster uh ghostbuster post that i made on the digitally rebastered networks discord channel there goes a fist on the floor um i've got uh i've got an the entire first wave of the uh hasbro ghostbuster plasma series and i'm going to be doing an, an unboxing and review uh um of that very soon uh but i'm waiting on uh one specific little piece not not a hasbro piece but uh, you'll just have to wait and see so we got the uh fists out there so we're ready for a uh bleh! and and oh his cape pops right off there that's interesting okay we'll just put that there okay and we'll put him back in the package and I didn't even get the stupid little piece of paper thing out. Okay, let's get him on the pedestal and take a look. All right, here we go. We got him up on the pedestal. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, he only comes with uh, the accessories that he ha comes with. Or, or he's he's got two hands. So he, he's got two uh, two sets of hands. He's got the uh, sort of 
splayed out sort of uh, power hands, and he's got uh, two fist hands in white. Uh, I'm going to sit those down. Uh, let's go ahead and measure him. Um, if I can get my ruler out. There we go. Uh, let's see how tall he is here. Um, his cape is sort of in the way, but I'm still going to be able to do it. <laughs> Uh, so Vision stands at about uh, almost six and a half inches tall, almost right at it. So yeah, he's a little bit taller than most. Um, going over articulation, um, actually, let's pop his cape off. Because his cape comes off quite nicely, uh, actually. It's just a little peg uh, in the back there. Uh, as you can see, and um, yeah, just uh, just a little peg, and it pops right in there and pops right out. So that's cool, and that's going to make doing articulation here a lot easier. So uh, on the head, we got all the way around. It is uh, it's the classic uh, Hasbro uh, ball hinge on top of a neck. There, nothing super special about that, but we do <laughs> look at that up. He can look straight up and straight down. That's really cool. Um, arms all the way out, all the way around for the arms. Um, double elbow uh, and a bicep swivel as well. Um, double elbow only goes up so far uh, with the bicep being in the way there. And then uh, wrist all the way around and uh, in and out, uh, in and out hinge on the wrist. Uh, same on the other side. Uh, we do have a um, ab crunch uh, hinge, not a ball joint, uh, mid torso there, and a waist swivel. Uh, and the bottom, no drop down ball joint, but we do have a thigh swivel. And a double knee that goes back about that far. Um, got the uh, upper leg there, keeping that from going too much further. And then we also have a doesn't he doesn't really have boots on, but we do have a uh, a cat I guess a calf swivel in this case instead of a boot swivel, but still it's a boot swivel um, for all intents and purposes. Uh, and then we've got detents on the feet. And uh, forward, uh, forward rocker on the feet there. Um, let's put his cape back on. The cape is kind of at an angle, so it's kind of weird um, getting that cape back in that pig hole. But, uh, I mean, it's manageable. All right, and there we go. Back on the pedestal. So uh, let's... Uh, Let's put him up against some other characters and uh, see how he scales up. Okay, so here we've got him with the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series, Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Flint, the Mezco 112 Collective Ascending Knight Batman, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics Martian Manhunter, otherwise known as Jean Jones. Uh... All in all, I'm very, I'm very happy with him. He's kind of basic. He's just a white vision. Um, you know, it's it, with no shoes for some reason. Um, but uh, he'll look very fine on my... He'll make a nice addition to my, uh, my Marvel shelf. Uh, and uh, I, have, uh, I have some more on the way um, that we'll be doing unboxing and reviews uh, for. Um, I've got a special. I've got like a Thanos coming. Um, I've got... Uh, uh, Punisher coming, um, so we'll have uh, we'll have a special unboxing and reviews of those, uh, as well as uh, I've got my big Ghostbuster unboxing and review that I'm going to do this week at some point, uh, whenever I can uh, find the time. Been working on a personal project, um, and um, and I'm not really going to talk about that. Um, that's going to be something that you're just going to have to find out for yourself and see what that is, uh, because it won't be. Um, well, I'm not going to say any more. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. 
Kerr, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network, as, as well as join us on Twitter, Discord, and my TikTok by clicking those links in the bottom right-hand corner of the banner on our channel page. Become part of the DRN family. We will welcome you with open arms. You've been watching Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care. <laughs>